You know when you have a fat brain. Today I've got ice creams from Lococo. So, I've got four flavors of ice cream today from Lococo. This one is sea salt, the ube, pasta latte, and doom. This is my favorite ever like frozen yogurt vegan ice cream because oh, I love you guys for making this ice creams. And I also made some sticky date pudding. Um, I might put the ingredients and recipe on the description below or not. I tried it earlier when it was fresh from the oven. Now I don't know if they're good. So if they're good, I'm gonna put it in this description. If they're not, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna put it anywhere. Bonk. Can you tell my makeup? Wait, this is hot. I cannot. Oh yeah. Oh mona, oh mona. Oh, oh, the coffee is so good. I forgot how good it is. Oh, yes. Mm. See if it tastes good with the sticky date pudding. creams are like health foods guys because they're made with cashew and almond milk and other premium ingredients mm. I know I've been eating desserts a lot but I sometimes order desserts impulsively like I see them on the internet and I order then I have to eat them. Mm. Okay, let me explain a bit about the, the ice creams. This one is made from sweet potato, ubi. This one's named ube. Like oh baby. And this one is chocolate latte. It's a coffee flavor. And the blue one is supposed to resemble um, frozen yogurt. And it really, really does. I love that one too. And this one, the sea salt, is like the vanilla flavor. They also have some other flavors like chocolate corona. Mm. Um, what else are there? Mm, they have a lot of flavors. They're really, really good. Ah! Oh! At first, when they created this ice cream, they wanted to have um. What is it? What's wrong with it? Cone. Cone. Oh, my brain. Oh, soft serve. They want to make uh, the first ever soft serve ice cream in Indonesia, and and so. So the way they prepared it is with the machine, you know, the floor stuff. So usually they serve it like that, but because they don't have a, a physical store, so they just made this in the, in the computer instead. They're still really good on this list. Mm. I like it. I like dessert. I don't have to chew. I still have to swallow though, but I don't have to chew. Mm. 
So do you remember what story I'm gonna tell you today? I told you in the previous video. It's about me being kicked out. <laughs> about ice cream again when I was little like since I was five years or so I really loved ice cream you know the ones um, this the soft serve ice cream that they sell in Awe and KFC and other fast food places I loved those so much like I could just buy them every day today one tomorrow one yesterday one every day one cone I just need one cone every day but I was fat when I was little, I was really chubby and, and to begin with, I already eat a lot at home so my parents didn't want me to buy anything else from the stores, from the restaurants they just, they want me to be healthier like, I didn't want to be healthy, I just want ice cream like, people call me chubby I, I don't know if I'm a real fat person but yeah, people call me like, you're, you're big and you're tall so I'm, I'm that kind of girl but inside my heart, all I want to do is eat. Just eat everything that I could. Because when you're little, you cannot really control your appetite. It's either you don't eat a lot. Like most of my friends are. Like they're skinny, they're so little. They don't like to eat. But me on the other side, all I think about is food. Like 25-8, all I think about is the ice cream, is the fries, is the burgers. Like I was... Inside my head, I was really fat kid. I, I'm not really sure if I was that fat, but inside my head, I was a fat kid. You know when you have a fat brain. So my mom's method to not have me eat so much food is to control my portions. So she would reduce all my intakes, like my rice and my meats, all the um, greasy stuff, she would reduce it. But me, we're talking about me as this brain, uh, as this kid with a fat brain. I knew that something was wrong with my portions. I knew that my mom didn't give me enough food for me to be satisfied. So what I did was, I searched for food somewhere else. So I talked to you uh, previously about my Ai, right? My mom's older sister. So my Ai has a husband named Papi. Okay, I call him Papi. And and Papi really loved me as a child because I was chubby and I was cute and I was like whiny. I, I love to ask him for a lot of things and one of the things for ice cream. And because Papi loved me a lot, he would just buy me ice cream. Every time I would go to Ai and Papi's house, they would give me ice cream. But my parents won't. So imagine. Imagine you as a child that loves ice cream. Your parents won't give you, but your parents' sibling will. So which one do you choose? Of course you choose your parents' sibling. Of course I choose my Ai and Papi because they give me ice cream. So all I wanted was just ice cream. And as this dumb kid that I was, I said to my mom, Mommy, I want to live with Ai. And it was okay when I said it the first time or the second time or the, or the third time, it was okay. But imagine me saying this like every day, like 10 times a day, a thousand times a day. What would your mom do? So my mom was getting really annoyed with me because I just wanted to live with Ai and Papi. So what my mom did was... Go pack your bags, grab your clothing, grab your accessories and your princess stuff. Get out of the house. Go live with I. I don't need you. I don't need you, child. So that's when my mom kicked me out of the house. So what I did was, I grabbed that luggage, I grabbed my stuff, and you know the first thing that I grabbed? It was this. My headbands. Like, I have a drawer full of accessories, and like uh, the, the necklaces, the charm bracelets. And the first thing that I grabbed was this. No, but actually, this is a really sad story because when this happened, I cried. I bawled my eyes out. I, I thought my mom didn't love me anymore. So 
I grabbed the luggage and I packed my stuff and uh, I, don't know, I just cried. I, pack, I was packing my stuff. <laughs> my mom is kicking me out of the house. I'm my stuff. Mama, mama, I'm going to die out of the <laughs> I was grabbing my headband and like so weird. So I didn't know how I felt because I was so sad. I could my I couldn't think straight, but on the back of my head, on the little brain that I have here. So subconsciously, what I thought about in my brain was my destiny, my vanity. For example, why won't I just grab my notebook or I don't know something more important, maybe my clothes or like my undies and stuff. But first thing I grabbed was my headband. Just the pretty stuff. Because we're still talking about Joe Alban. You know how stubborn I can be. Alban, don't want to be told. My mom kicked me out of the house. Okay, I'll go. Because I want ice cream. That's how much I love ice cream. I'm talking about my pitless stomach. About how I really had this big stomach that can just contain anything and everything in life. So we had our favorite noodle place. It's not a place, it's a cart. It's it's just really literally a cart where the the seller, the abang abang there, sell it on the cart. Because this noodle place is really really good. I would only eat one portion. I would usually eat the the big portion, which is one and a half portion. And me as the smallest child in this family, I shouldn't be eating the big portion, right? I should be just eating the small one because I was I was short, but I didn't care. I I always wanted the big portion, the one and a half portion. So, cause my mom wanted to put me on a diet, she didn't want me to eat the big portion. She wanted me to have only the small portion. But me, as the stubborn child, as the alban, as the two alban, I didn't want to. Whenever they told me to eat only the small portion, I would be mad. I would be mad. So, they had this trick. They tricked me. So how they did this trick is that they would tell the seller, the the noodle maker. Mas, mas, so what my family would do is tell the noodle maker. To put my extra zero and a half portion into my dad's plate. So they would do it secretively without me knowing. But me, remember me having this fat brain, I would know that my portion is missing. And, and when they gave me my plate, and I would see that there was zero and a half portion missing from it. I'd be mad! Oh yeah, this one trick didn't succeed. It's okay though, I'm just mad. But another time they gave me the whole big portion, one and a half portion. I was happy, right? And then, but in the middle, my, my dad suddenly did this. I would bawl my eyes out because my dad took the zero point half portion from my plate suddenly he attacked me without me knowing about it they attacked me they tricked me they bamboozled me and i was mad because i wanted the whole portion yeah my family would do that to me can you imagine how sad i am i just wanted to eat what's wrong with that
but now I can actually see the silver lining of why my mom did that. So now I can model. It was all thanks to my mom. If you didn't control my portions, I would be big. But now in my defense, I'm just eating vegan food. So it's fine that I still eat a lot. Happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I didn't tell you how it went, right? If I got kicked out or not. No, nope. again, I wasn't kicked out. Because my mom still had compassion for me. Yeah. But I did ball my eyes out for, I don't know, maybe two hours. Oh. Every time my mom would get angry with me, she would be so, so mad that she would scold me very hard and I would cry and if I started crying in the morning it won't stop till night it won't, it just won't so if nobody came to console me and to tell me that it's okay I would just keep on crying and, and my mom would sweet talk me she would because she was so fed up with my actions, with my behaviors with my outburnness, she just she was done with it. Oh, what? But my dad would, because he was working all the time. And every time he got home and find that I'm still crying until night, could be. And when I cry, I wouldn't just sit on the floor. Crying on the floor, I would cry standing up. So. I would probably cry from like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, so it was like a full-time job for me. Crying! Oh. Oh, it's so painful. Shh. Painful to be my mom and dad. the ring I ate the middle part and I love the ring <laughs> I love the gooey part the ring is for my mom and dad oh, I cannot stop eating when I eat ice cream I just can't stop I have four pints here. <laughs> so satisfying. <gasps> I dropped. Oh, such a waste. Yeah, it's empty, by the way. Thank you. I'm okay. it that's it for today's mukbang i'll see you in the next one don't worry and be happy